I, I'm proud that I'm a white man, and I'm sick and tired of people telling me that I'm not supposed to be. So, of course, you have groups like this gather because they're sick and tired of being told you're not supposed to be what you are or you're supposed to be ashamed of it, and I'm not. I, th- I think whatever that is, this alt-right is, I feel as if it's a small handful of people that nobody ever even paid attention to until the media decided to make them bigger than they actually are. The media is living in an alternative universe. Why? Because all they want to do is destroy the president. People out there, they're just never going to be satisfied with what he says. So he's not, no matter what he says in response to any crisis, they're going to ridicule him or satirize him or say he's dumb or say he's he doesn't really care or he's an egomaniac or, you know, pick your point. Do we know which which of these groups it was? Was it alt right? I mean, was it neo-Nazi? Was it white nationalists? Were they KKK officially? Uh, uh, who was it that brought them all together? I would argue most people don't know. They just know that the media is calling them all these awful things, so we know that they're racist, right? And so they had it coming. We got to stop being spoon-fed stuff from the, from the media. Black people and white people who were never slaves are fighting white people and others who were never Nazis over Confederate statues erected by Democrats, and somehow it's all Donald Trump's fault. Never in my life have I had somebody, you know, when they talk about where they stand on things, you know, people that say, I'm, cons- I'm real conservative, or, uh, you know, I'm hardcore Republican, or, well, I'm kind of middle of the road, or I'm a Trumpster. Never have I heard anyone say I'm an alt-righter. Here's something the media won't tell you. Republicans have been the party of Lincoln, the Emancipation Proclamation. Democrats, what have they been? The party of segregation, the Southern Manifesto. Remember back in 1956, it was Democrats who introduced what was known as that Southern Manifesto. That's a document to resist the Supreme Court decision, Brown versus the Board of Education and the ruling and segregation in schools. The whole white nationalist is just a white version of Black Lives Matter. You know, I see them as one and the same, just the only difference is one side A and one side B. It's different colors. You disagree with the premise? 99% of all violent protests and riots in this country start and are engineered and practiced by the left? And only Trump would even mention the, the, the incessant, monstrous violence that was coming from the other side. You realize how messed up things are where a president says all violence is messed up and he gets criticized for that. For saying there's no room in this country for any of this sort of violence against from one American to another, no matter what the reason is, there's no play and he gets condemned for it. Because he's supposed to pick a side. I preferred him condemning the violence on both sides because most of the violence up until now, really basically since, well, for at least a year now, um, these violent leftists, many of them with Antifa, they call themselves, um, showing up with weapons, uh, often in masks. They shut down a Trump rally in Chicago um, more than a year ago in San Jose, a Trump rally. We completely disagree with everything these white supremacist groups stand for, believe in. They're not conservatives. They're not Republicans. We don't know these people, small percentage of the population. But under the First Amendment in this country, they have a right to say hateful, awful, and even racist things, whether we like it or not. By the way, the one actual legal difference as opposed to a label you're going to put on them was that these alleged Nazis, some were, some weren't. There were a few Nazis, I guess. I mean, I'm not not one of them, but that wasn't all it was. They had a permit to speak, and they were never allowed to speak. Okay, well, let me bring in Alex The quote anti-fascist disrupted a legal gathering. Well, it's, it's, it's rewriting history. One of the... 
well, it may arguably be the only way that you can really truly destroy a country and recreate it is to either erase history or make people feel as if they should be ashamed of their history. The Civil War was not about slavery. It was about interstate commerce. But these people who want the monuments to be removed don't know that. And they're believing what the government tells them. He goes, where does it end? He brought up Washington, slaveholder. Brought up Jefferson, slaveholder. Where does it end, Laura? Well, where, where is the litmus test? Where is it written? Uh, I, I understand that there's this newfound uh, outrage and level of offense that it has reached this fever pitch about these statues. I, I mean, I think a lot of people have driven by these statues probably for decades and never thought twice about them, but now they've become a political sim symbol. And if, if it's a symbol uh, that represents the racist past or any vestige of a racist past of the South, then they're going to be able to say, well, then that has to go too. I, I don't know how far they want to take it. I said this morning, maybe they'll take it to certain books that they think are offensive. Or